Zebo is a 3G-enabled entertainment and education system from Zebo Inc. It enables users to play video games, and also connect to the Internet, communicate online and run educational applications. The Zebo was targeted at developing markets such as Brazil and Mexico. Zebo Inc. described the Zebo as bringing the fun and excitement of interactive entertainment and education to those who, until now, have had little or no access to such technology. Overview Zebo was founded by Reynaldo Norman in 2008, based off a working prototype developed by Dave Dernal and business plan by Mike Ewan at Qualcomm. The company's stated intention was to create an affordable console with inexpensive games and educational content delivered via wireless digital distribution to circumvent piracy. There are no DVDs and cartridges, games and other content are downloaded wirelessly over broadband cellular networks. In addition to games, the Zebo system also provides internet connectivity, enabling users to access educational and information content, communicate via email and do social networking. This capability was supported in Brazil and Mexico. Zebo has attracted a growing list of content from companies such as Activision, Capcom, Digital Chocolate, Disney Interactive Studios, Electronic Arts, Fish Labs, Flying Tiger, Gameville, G Mode, GLU, ID Software, Limbic Software, Namco, Pol Polarbit, PopCap, 12 Interactive and Vega Mobile. Topic history The Zebo was first announced in November 2008 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil and went on sale there in limited quantities on June 1, 2009 with a suggested retail price of 499.00 Brazilian REAIS. In September of the same year, the price was cut to 399 reals, 00, and the price was reduced again in November to 299 reals, 00, approximately equals 170 United States dollars. The console was distributed nationwide in Brazil in December 2009. By August, 2010, there were approximately 40 games launched for Zebo in Brazil. On September 1, 2010, Zebo announced that it was adding new capabilities and accessories to the Zebo in Brazil, including internet connectivity, a keyboard and new more ergonomic gamepad. The new Brazilian system configuration was priced identical to the previous one, 299 reals, approximately equals 170 United States dollars. The company announced that Brazilian owners of previous system configurations can upgrade to the new one for free. The Zebo was launched in Mexico in November 2009. It shipped to national retailers across the country on November 4, 2009, with a suggested price of 2,499 Mexican pesos, approximately $205 US. The Mexican system configuration was similar to that introduced in September, 2010 and includes internet connectivity, a keyboard and ergonomic gamepad. The price was cut to 2,249 pesos approximately $184 US in April 2010. The Zebo was available in Brazil and Mexico. Reports indicated that the Zebo was planned to become available in China by 2011. Zebo Inc. announced an agreement with AT&T in March, 2010. The company stated that the agreement gives us access to AT&T's international roaming network, allowing us to carry out rapid trials of the Zebo platform in new geographic areas as we establish longer-term agreements with local carriers for deployment of the system. It will also give us a chance to explore opportunities in the U.S. market in the future. However it appears that Tectoy has decided against the Zebo and on its homepage now states that they are gearing towards a more educational market. On May 27, 2011 Zebo announced its end of operations in Brazil and Mexico. According to the company, all games would undergo a price reduction and Zebone 3G would remain active until September 30, and all warranty services would be honored. On the same day, on Zebone 3G, a message was added to the details of the game Terma da Monica M. Vamos Brincar Monica's Gang in Let's Play, stating that the game would be unavailable for purchase by the end of the day. Zebo's home page still stated that the company was currently working on a next-generation Android-based platform for launch in 2012, but the product had not been released as of March 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Wireless capabilities. The Zebo system was developed by Zebo Inc. with the participation of 12 companies, mainly Qualcomm and Tectoy. 
It was manufactured and distributed by local partners in target countries e.g., Tectoy in Brazil. The console uses a Qualcomm Brew mobile gaming chipset similar to that in mobile phones. Players are able to buy and download games and other content wirelessly through 3G or Edge. The user was always connected to the wireless network without any subscription fee. Purchases are made through an online store using a virtual currency, Z Credits. Zebo's gaming delivery system reduces costs with no discs or cartridges needed and overcomes piracy barriers, two elements that have hindered sales of game consoles in developing markets. Z Credits are purchased by bank transfer, credit card, bank debit or prepaid cards. Games cost from about 500 to 2,500 credits. The console's wireless connectivity also allows users to browse websites, send and receive email and take part social networking activities via the wireless network. The Zebo can also perform over-the-air ODA updates to the console's firmware, delivering new content, features and bug fixes. Topic: <laughs> Accessories. Topic Z Pad. The standard Zebo Z Pad controller includes a total of seven buttons, a D pad, and two analog sticks. On the right side, there are four buttons numbered one to four. Two shoulder buttons rest on the top, called ZL and ZR. At the center, there is a Home button, which takes the user back the start screen of the Zebo interface, while functioning as a typical pause button during games. Directly below this button are the two analog sticks, whereas the D-pad is located at the leftmost side. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang. The Boomerang, sold by Tectoy in Brazil, is a wireless controller with a built-in accelerometer, using motion sensing technology to play games with actual physical gestures. It has a D-pad, two buttons labeled 1 to 2 on the top left side, a home button, a sliding on-off switch and a wrist strap. It requires two AA batteries as a power supply. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Keyboard The Zebo also includes an external keyboard, used with the system's web browsing, email and social networking functions. Topic games The Zebo features remade versions of games from mobile phones and other consoles, such as FIFA 09, Resident Evil 4, Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 3D, Galaxy on Fire and Rally Master Pro. There are also a number of original game titles developed specifically for the Zebo, including Zebo Extreme Racing Games, Boomerang Sports Games, Zebo Football Club Games, and Un Juego de Huevos, known as Um Jago de Ovios in Brazil, an action adventure game based on the hit Mexican animated film Una Película de Huevos from Hueva Cartoon. In March 2010, Zebo began releasing a series of classic arcade games. These games were originally created in the 1980s and 1990s by Data East Corp. in Japan and have been modified to run on the Zebo system. The titles include Caveman Ninja, originally known as Joe and Mac, Spin Master, Super Burger Time, and Dark Seal, also known as Gate of Doom. In June 2010, in advance of the World Cup, Zebo released the first of its football club FC titles, Zebo FC Foot Camp, developed by Zebo Interactive Studios in Brazil. It includes four minigames, each emphasizing a particular soccer skill, such as dribbling, juggling and goal kicking. Along with Zebo FC. Foot Camp, the company released Zeboids, an application that enables users to create personal characters avatars to be used with the football club games. Also in June, Zebo announced a variety of forthcoming games from independent developers such as Digital Chocolate, Fish Labs, Limbic Software, 12 Interactive, and Vega Mobile. In Brazil, the Zebo was sold with three free games embedded: FIFA 09, Need for Speed Carbon, Own the City, and Brain Challenge, known in Portuguese as Treino Cerebral. Three other games, all in Portuguese, are available for free download with new systems: Prey Evil, Zebo Extreme Rolima, and Zebo Extreme Jetboard. More 30 other titles are available for purchase via Z Credits and download. On September 1, 2010, Zebo announced a number of new games and educational applications to be launched in 2010 and 2011. 
They included a new Zebo football club game, called Zebo FC Super League, a series of titles from Disney Interactive Studios, including Disney All Star Cards, Alice in Wonderland, and Jelly Car 2, and a series of titles based on the popular Monica's Gang Terma da Monica comic books in Brazil from cartoonist Mauricio de Souza. In Mexico, the console includes five free embedded game titles Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 3D, Pac Mania, Tekken 2, Xenonia, and Zebo Family Pack. More than a dozen games were available for wireless purchase at the time of the Mexican launch in November, 2009. More than a dozen more have since been introduced, all in Spanish. Zebo has also announced that the English-language teaching company Interlingua will be developing entertainment and education applications for the console. In addition to games and educational content, the console provides access to more than 50 websites, grouped in subject categories, called Z Channels. Technical specifications ARM11, QDSP5 in Qualcomm MSMSOC running at 528 MHz ATI Imogen, later renamed to Adreno 1 GB NAND flash 128 MB NAND flash in MCP 160 megabytes RAM, 128 megabytes DDR SDRAM in MCP plus 32 megabytes stacked DDR SDRAM in MSM 7201A. Resolution VGA 640 times 480, 4 to 3 aspect ratio. 3G scaling back to 2.5G or 2G where necessary. Three USB ports 2.0 standard A for accessories. SD card slot, interface Interface, USB HID Power, AC adapter 5 volts 3A Consumption, 15W max Graphics, 4 million triangles per second Audio, 8 channels simultaneous MP3, ADPCM, MIDI Size, W times D times H 157 times 215.4 times 44 mm Weight, 1. 3 kilograms, 3 pounds. Topic. Development Content for the Zebo is based on the Brew platform and is created using the Zebo SDK, downloadable from the Zebo Inc. website. Gamepad peripherals are made possible by a Brew extension. The Zebo system supports OpenGL S 1.0, 1.1. Applications are downloaded wirelessly over the air and commonly range in size from 5 to 25 megabytes. 